Welcome back to the Recruiter Call Channel. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? In this segment of MTC, <laughs> I know this is the one you guys have been waiting for since I made the uh, community post about my uh, experience with the recruiter over here at CR England. Yes, sir. So initially, I put in my uh, community post, and I said that I didn't realize that CR England had a recovery fleet, meaning a fleet where the drivers would go and recover their abandoned trucks. At least that's what I was up under the impression. Found out about it because we was talking about it in the Facebook group where a guy that was in the Facebook group was talking about his experience with it. So the way he explains it is that he goes out by CR England. They, they send him to a truck. He go picks it up and brings it back to wherever the truck needs to be brought back to. So that's what I thought, uh, that the job entails so of course i went to go look it up and i i found it but when i went to go look it up again for this you know for this edit i can't find it so i guess they must have took it down or whatever but in the position it was just like he said they was looking for drivers to go pick up their abandoned trucks to bring back to an undisclosed terminal whatever all right so again, I, I put in my community post. I said, hey, you guys want me to check it out? And of course, you guys came back with a resounding yes. 78% of you guys wanted to know more about the uh, recovery fleet. So with that said, how did the call go? Let's find out in the call. All right. Hello? <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, how's it going, bro? It's Victor. All right. It's Victor with Sierra England. All right, CR England. All right, so I um, well, thank you for returning the call. Um, I I was interested in finding out a little bit more about the recovery fleet that you guys offering. Uh, yes, yes, I do have that position available. All right. Uh, cool. It's, it's national driving, though. Are you all right with that? National driving. Explain that for me, please. And uh, so it's all 48 states and uh, three to four weeks out and then three to four days home. All right. Can you do that. All right. So you uh, so you want so you want me to be out for three weeks and be home for three days. Uh, now, let me ask you this. How how would. OK, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with that. But how do it work? Uh huh. Mm. Well, look, uh, first of all, what's the phone number you put on your application? Okay, I, I didn't put in the application. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing my research. Ah, that's right. That's right. A friend of mine gave me your phone number. Let me stop right there. If a friend of his is the young lady that I called earlier in the day, the, the recruiter lady that I that I talked with early in the day, if that's your friend that that referred me over to you, then I guess that's the one. But it was the recruiter lady that I called earlier in the day because she didn't have any information on the recovery fleet. So she sent me over to you i left a message on your voicemail for you to call me back so scratching my head on this one let's continue 
Yes, yes. It's, um, let me see. She told me your name is Sean, right? Yes. Okay, where did you see the recovery fleet at, or where did you see about this position? Well, it's in, the, it's, uh, I'm in a Facebook group. So a lot of us okay. drive, a lot of us drivers were, uh, was talking about it. And it was one driver uh -huh. in particular that said that, you know, that he'd done it. So I was just, you know, I was just interested in finding out a little bit more information about it. Okay, what's the zip code where you live? I'm out of I'm out of four four. Well, I'm out of a couple of zip codes, but the main one is four four one zero eight. Four four one zero eight. Cleveland, Ohio. It's just the recovery route is not available where you live. So when he told me that, okay, when when he told me that, I was like, okay, cool. Uh. Where is it available? Maybe I might be interested into relocating to where it is available. Okay. So yeah, I, I was kind of, you know, trying to, you know, trying to work with him like, oh, okay, well, I'm I'm still interested. And if, you know, if I can find, you know, where's, you know, where it's located as far as as far as me getting on to the fleet. I might, you know, I might be interested in uh, relocating. Let's continue. Okay. I don't have that option there where you live. Okay. So where is it available at? Uh, let me see here. By the way, a lot of pause. A lot of pause in this call right here. Uh, so you got to live either in California, Illinois, Georgia, Texas, or Utah. Oh, okay. Then, okay. I, I got a, okay. I got a place Utah, of residence. Utah, Salt Lake City. Okay. I got mm -hmm. a, I got a, I got a place of residence in Illinois. Yeah. So. Okay. It has yeah. to be 150 miles from South Holland, yeah. Illinois. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm not that far from there. <laughs> I have okay, uh, there you I go. have res I have residents uh I have residents near there. All right. So uh the recovery fleet, what what is it entails? I mean, from what the from okay. from what the driver in the Facebook told me or told us is that all all you guys all they do is just go around recovering recovering trucks and stuff. Key. Exactly. Yeah, give me Let a me read the description to you. It says drivers will be sent to recover a truck and move it to one of our locations. All drivers will team five to ten percent of the time to get to a shop or to recover a truck. This is a position that runs to forty eight states. A cell phone to take pictures the ability to email the picture to the fleet manager is required. If a driver is a passenger on a truck or bus that is over 100 miles, the driver will be paid $125 for travel. So, um, so yeah, you're basically picking up trucks in different places to take them to one of our locations. So it might quick, happen that on one of these, on one of quick, those occasions, you pick quick, up quick, the truck, but quick, also the driver. Quick question. Um, yeah. Well, okay. I hear you say team. Would that be because of the fact that one driver would would take another driver to the truck? Hey. No, no, no. That that when you pick up the truck, the driver for the truck you're picking up will will go with you to wherever you're you're taking the truck. Because remember, it's his truck. Maybe it broke down, maybe I don't know, for one reason or another you just you got to take the truck back to one of our locations and therefore you take one of the drivers. But it says that that's five to 10% of the time. Okay. So here's where I get confused that because I was under the impression that the recovery fleet is you would get the information on where the truck is at. You hop on the plane, you go to, said truck pick it up 
and bring it back to where they want you to drop it off at. That's what that's what I was under the impression of. But what got me confused is I'm I'm he says I'm driving another person to their truck. So I'm kind of confused in you know what I will be doing. Let's continue. Okay, I'm I'm lightweight confused. Um okay, so it's not like so would the driver of of so I'm taking the driver of the truck to recover his own truck? Yeah. No, 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 no. When you go pick up the truck. Right. The there dr- was a guy that was driving it. Right. L- so you're going to go pick up the truck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And therefore you take the, the driver also with you. But again, that's only five to 10% of the time. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting a clear reading on what, you know, what I have to do with this five to 10% of the time. So five to 10% of the time, there may be a driver that you probably have to pick up somewhere to take back to his truck that may or may not have been broke down. You, you, you follow me? I mean, I'm I'm trying to follow what this guy trying to tell me what the job is entail. Because originally the the j- j- job was to go get a truck and bring it back. That's that's the recovery fleet. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like I'm taking the driver to his truck so he can recover his own truck. Make it make sense. Okay, but I'm so I'm I'm still I, I'm, I'm still I'm still confused on on what I'm supposed to be doing. So let me let me make sure I get this straight. All right, you know to clarify a little bit. So I'm not mm-hmm. the one. I'm 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 not the one that's going around picking up the truck and bringing it back to the to the yard. Right? I mean, I, I, am I the one or? Am I the one that's driving like my own truck and I'm taking somebody else to recover somebody else's truck? Now, look, again, like it says on here, it says all drivers will team five to 10 percent of the time to get to a shop. Or to recover a truck. Okay, I'm, that's how it says it on here. Uh, okay, see, I'm not. Un, I, I I guess uh, I I guess the way it's written, but I'm still not understanding. So sorry for my you know for my lack of understanding. But so I'm teaming. So it's me and a team driver. So it's actually us team driving uh, a truck. So basically, we're okay. So let me put this in brass tasks. So until we get an order to go pick up a truck, we're just team driving the loads that we would no, normally Sean, get. No, 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 okay. no, 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 okay. no, no. Okay. okay, okay, talk to me. Right, but, but, but pay attention to this, okay. I'm, I'm... Okay. Right. 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm still trying to follow him, all right? So he explained it a little bit better than what he did prior. But in this instance, I am going to pick up a broken down truck by the way he's explaining it. So... We got a broken down truck and the driver is with that truck, right? So I guess I'm in one of those trucks that you got to like hook up a truck to the truck. But if that's the case, don't you need your doubles and triples to pull a truck? 
Because if I'm going to pick up, if I'm going to pick up that truck, how I'm going to how I'm going to drive the truck if the truck is broke down? The driver is coming with me. But how am I going to, you know, how am I going to, you know, drive the truck if the truck broke down? If the original driver couldn't drive the truck because it's broke down, what is the point of me going to the driver and take the driver and still leave the truck? So I'm thinking at the time, like, oh, okay, well, I will probably be, I will probably, I will probably be driving one of those tow truck style trucks. But unfortunately, I don't have my doubles and triples because I I was up under the insertion to, to, to pull a truck of that magnitude, you would need your doubles and triples to do it, I guess. Let's continue. Okay, so that means, so that means what? I go and pick up the driver? If the truck is broke down? Right, the truck is broke down. The okay, but the truck, but you just mentioned that the truck is broke down. So if the truck is broke down, it's immovable. We're we, we talking two different uh, scenarios. So if the truck is broke, mm -hmm. Now we get into the brass tasks of things. Here's the scenario. Here's the scenario that he doesn't know what the job is entails. Because number one, he's he's reading, of course he's reading from a tablet somewhere about the job entails, right? But of course, me be who I am, I like to ask questions, and the questions that I'm asking, he's not able to answer. So it might be the truck that I'm picking up, or it might be the trailer that I'm picking up. It might be the, you know, it's going to be the driver that I'm picking up. So... If the truck is broke down and the driver is on a load, I guess I'm going to recover the 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 trailer, the load, and the driver and taking them back to wherever they need to be taken back to. You know, this this the clarification that I was trying to get because like I said before, if I'm going to get the truck the truck is broke down, it's immovable. So how am I going to pick up the truck unless I'm in one of those trucks that can haul another truck? Let's continue. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So I... I Right. So I would I would think like, you know, from two different scenarios, if the truck is like if the truck is like broke down and immovable, then, yeah, we, we won't be able to move the truck or take the truck or anything like that. It would have to be probably told or something like that. But if the truck is abandoned, like you, you know, like you mentioned earlier, then, yeah, I, I can understand, you know, taking my teammate to the truck or we both go to the truck and then one of us will drive the other truck that's abandoned to a shop or a yard, right? That makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so Here's where it starts to go down the drain. Okay. Okay. So I, so I can't, 
Well, no, I, I'm I'm just doing like I said before. I'm I'm doing my research. I mean, it does. It, well, it's well, it's not shopping around. No, it's not shopping around. It's doing my research, my due diligence. I don't want to just jump into something without knowing what I'm jumping into. So, I mean, right. Actually, you do know who I am. I gave you my name when we first started to talk and your quote unquote friend, co-worker, the other recruiter gave you my name as well. So, you know who I am. Let's continue. Okay, so let me can I can I ask you this question then? I mean, I mean it sounds it's it sounds like it's it sounds like you know a little bit of uh uh what what what's the word I'm looking for uh a little bit of tedious right here. I mean you you are the recruiter, am I right? I'm the driver that been driving for over ten years. So you mean to tell me as the driver, I I, I can't call you the recruiter to find out what kind of what, what kind of opportunities that you guys got. You you don't have time to talk, but you but you telling me you don't have time to t but you telling me you don't have time to talk to me though. So I so what you saying? So what you saying? So so let well, hold on hold on. So what you saying? So what you saying is I got to put in an application in order for you to talk to me. To get Are you you kidding me, right? I mean, because you guys is over here, you kidding me, right? I mean, you guys is over here putting inform you you putting information in my in my Facebook feed in my Facebook group, talking about you guys looking for drivers, and you mean to tell me you don't have time to talk to me? That's oh okay. I I tell you no. I I tell you what. I tell you what. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh my God, do you? Come on now. Come on now. You're a mega carrier. A mega carrier. And you don't have time to give me information about what you're offering. I mean, I came to you with a with, I, I came to you with an olive branch to find out about the uh, uh, about the uh about the recovery fleet. And by the sounds of it, you don't even know nothing about it. You you reading from you you reading the same thing I read, and you couldn't even give you you couldn't give me a straightforward uh answers. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. I, I'm I was confused throughout the whole conversation, y'all. Like team driving. Like I understand. If you want us to team drive to go and recover a truck, okay? I'm not even sure if I even read that right on the on the um on the Facebook. Is this the kind of company you guys want to drive for? Is this the kind of recruiter y'all want to talk to? Y'all want the recruiter to talk to you with 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 this type of um with this type of disrespect, which it was. C.R. England. I mean, this is not the first time that I had this, that I had a disrespectful phone call from these people. Y'all remember the first call? Y'all remember the first time I called C.R. England? I think I went through like three recruiters to talk to one that would actually talk to me. Well, if you want to call it window shopping, then yeah. But why not, though? Why not? I don't want to fill out an application if I don't know what, what, what the criteria or the job is about. That was the whole point of calling you the recruiter so that you can give me the information that I want. Maybe I would take that information and say, hey, no problem. I like it. Let's do it. I'll fill out an application. Send me the link. I'm on board. But I want to know about what the job is entails. Right? 
you you mentioned that this was a na national fleet. Why do you have to live in certain areas if this is a national fleet? See, if you guys don't know, CR England is more, it, it, they, they want team drivers. That's what they want. And to be honest with you, after talking to them about this particular uh, opportunity, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that this is just a ploy just to get you to work for the company and drive for their, you know, drive the truck and trailer. All 48 states. See, what I'm thinking, and this is what I was thinking, that this is what I thought when I heard when I heard about this fleet. And when I was talking to the drivers in the Facebook group about it was say like you in Ohio, right? You in Ohio. And they, they tell you, you coming off a of home time in Ohio. Okay. And they give you, they say, Hey, the truck is over in uh, Minnesota. So they would give you a plane ticket. At least that's what I thought. I, it's something that I read, right? They give you a plane ticket. You take the plane up to Minnesota. You go pick up the truck, pick up the truck, and then take it back to, you know, wherever they want you to take it back to. Right? That's what I thought. So by him explaining, like, you got a team drive and all like that, you got to take a driver. What if the truck is broke down? What if the truck is broke down? That means it's immovable if it's broke down. So how are you going to recover a broke down truck? If the truck don't start, if the truck don't drive, if the truck don't move, how are we going to recover that truck, bro? Or unless if, if the driver was stranded, we would go and pick that driver up, right? I'm not understanding what you're saying, bro. You not being you not being clear and 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 and, and concise in what you was in, in what you're trying to explain what this type of fleet is. Basically, you just want an over-the-road driver. Pretty much. You want a driver to stay out for three weeks and only get one day off for each week that he's out. That's that's an over-the-road driver, bruh. We talking about the fleet. This would be a different fleet. But yet you have to do what I did is go and read off the information. You, you ain't give me nothing, bro. All you gave me was attitude. Attitude. Oh, well, I, I don't want to talk to, I don't want to talk to nobody if I don't have an application. A lot of us drivers don't want to put in an application, bro. We want to find out what you guys got to offer and if it's worth putting in an application, okay? If it's worth putting in an application, then then we can go we can go from there. But what I want to know is, what I want to know with you, well, we didn't even go we we didn't even get into it. You didn't even offer me you you didn't even offer me an email. You didn't even offer me and say, hey, you know, I got all the information you need is on the email. It's on the information and I can send it to you by email. You ain't even offer that, bro. Oh, a friend of mine gave me your phone number. A friend of you? Hey, what do you mean a friend of yours? Aren't you? Aren't, aren't you guys recruiters? Because when I talked to the young lady earlier today, she was part of the new... Uh, you know, new hires or, you know, something like that. Or oh, a friend of mine gave me your phone number. I'm, I'm just doing this as a courtesy. Really? This is C.R. England, y'all. C.R. England. I, I wouldn't recommend C.R. England if they was the last company on this earth. If you need your, if you need your, your, your CDLs, if you need your CDLs, then yeah, I, I will re I'll recommend them because they'll they'll give you your CDLs. They need inexperienced, naive drivers to drive for them. They need a they need the type of driver that they can sweet talk into something. You can't do that with me, bruh. You can't do that with me. You can't sweet talk me.
You can't, you, you, you can't, oh, well, I, I got to get it. I need to application. No, you can't do that, bruh. So what you telling me, you do that to everybody? Here, go ahead and fill out this application. So while I'm running the application, I can run everything about you. No, I don't want you to do that. That's why you don't give them your last name. You don't want to do that. Hey, my name's Sean. I want to just, I want to talk to you about the information that you have on the internet talking about this particular position. What's the position entails, how much it is, and what type of home time or what type of equipment that I'll be driving. And if it's something that I like, then email me the link to the application and, we'll, and, and we can bam, bam, boom. And if that recruiter don't have time to talk to you or explain to you what the position that you're interested in, new driver, then that's not the company to go with. Period. That is not the company to go with. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. CR England, that, that would be a negative, sir. Drivers, I, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this, on this, uh, on this call right here. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Who's next?